Hey everyone, this is Mwes Gwamgwa Bosco, the teacher of Wisdom Center, that's the Karumona in Ibugesera. Uh, yes, I'm back, that at least we, uh, we see how we can move on with our daily activities. Remember, uh, yes, I'm your science teacher as well, that's why this time I'm here specifically uh, looking at uh, a major work in science. So uh, let us move together. Remember, this time you need to look at different activities. Uh, actually, in your time as you stay at home, you have to cover work. It helps you. By the time you get back to school, yes, you'll be re-updated. So later today, we are going to look at majorly uh, looking at the uh, diseases that affect the circulatory system. So, uh, but before moving on, yeah, you can check on our contacts. Anytime you might need us, you find, yes, just check on the contacts. For any query, you can call us, shall I help you? Uh, yes, also can send a message on the emails, on the website. Still, we shall help you. So uh, moving on to these activities, as I said, uh, we are specifically going to look at care of the organs of the circulatory system. Yes, uh, but before moving on, remember last time we looked at these organs, because we said that there are majorly three organs of the circulatory system. We said the major that these organs, uh, uh, they have the heart, uh, the blood vessels, and blood. Those are the three major organs of the circulatory system. So we see that now we're looking at this time, we want to see how should we care, yes, uh, for these organs uh, to, 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 to maintain their health. So this is very important, and that's what we want to actually look at this time. Uh, so uh, when we look at uh, care for the organs of the circulatory system, uh, we need to see how should we, yes, what should we eat, uh, look at uh, which activity should you handle, should you go engage in, yes, to keep your body system healthy, such that uh, uh, you have, uh, let's say, uh, good blood flow, a uh, quiet number of blood pressure that is recommendable. So this is going to take us through at least the care uh, of these organs. So majorly uh, looking at number one, we say at least eat, okay, a balanced diet. So eating a balanced diet, it helps you to, it helps to maintain uh, the, the organs of the circulatory system. Talk of the heart, the blood vessels, keeping blood vessels healthy, keeping your blood healthy. You need to eat at least a balanced diet, yes. Now, I remember we looked at this uh, previously, a balanced diet. We said it's a meal that contains all food values, okay? And remember, we have a major, like, uh, a number of food values, up to six. But look at this, into the, major, the major components of balanced diet, like the main three. We talked about the proteins, vitamins, carbohydrates, so the major three, yes. Yeah, you can add some, like, uh, uh, yes, mineral salts, Yes, some fats and oils, but major remember that oils are not, much oils are not required in the body because they can easily bring issues like a, a clots uh, in, the, in the blood vessels. So, yes. So moving on, remember you need to have a balanced diet. Yes, right amount uh, in each component. Yes, so moving on, uh, yes, as we said, the next point can be doing regular physical exercises. So you need to, yes, to have to make your body exercise daily, yes? This keeps uh, your blood vessels healthy, keeps your blood healthy, yes? Keeps the heart healthy, this is very important. Yes, then the uh, next thing we have to do, you have to make regular visits to the hospital for medical checkup. Yes, you may not know, yes, if your blood pressure is high or low, or any disease that, atta that has attacked the blood system. So what you have to do majorly, uh, it's very important, uh, yes, to have regular checkups, okay? Visit the doctor regularly, uh, yes, to find if uh, your blood is healthy, if uh, the different organs like the heart, the blood vessels, if they have no infections. Uh, and yeah. then uh, next thing you have to do also, yes, avoid eating too much fat or oil food stuffs. Yes, as I said earlier, uh, these fats and oil food stuffs, majorly they make clots, okay? or they clot within the blood vessels, blocking them, which can lead to hardening of the heart, okay, leading to heart attack. So number of diseases which can be lead to, caused by this. So avoid eating too much fats, okay? Uh, fat oil, oil, oils and, and, and fats are good in the body. They can provide energy in the body, but majorly uh, we don't need, to, to, no need too much oil 
or fats. So eat less fats and oil foods to maintain okay, your blood healthy. And then uh, avoid uh, rough games. Yes, there are rough, some games which can lead to, let's say, blockages, let's say, or de uh, damage to the heart, the blood vessels. Yes, uh, this can also be, be, uh, be an, an effect to the body. So what you have to do, avoid uh, rough games uh, to keep uh, your blood vessels, to keep uh, the heart in good condition. And then, still, so I can also say take care, take much care uh, to accidents. Yes, major accidents can affect uh, the, the, the system of blood circulation. Talk about the heart, talk about the blood vessels, in the case they are injured. Uh, and with this also, in the case we have eye accidents, we can lead to hemorrhage or uh, severe bleeding. This can simply affect the blood system. Majorly, yes, take care, okay, uh, to accidents. Try to avoid accidents. This will help you to maintain or to keep uh, your blood system healthy. Yes, uh, we have a number of things that we can do. Yes, you can skip actually. Yes, think about them, discuss more. But at least you can have this. Yes, which, as we said earlier, avoid eating. So uh, avoid uh, playing or playing less rough games. Uh, take care of accidents or avoid accidents. Yes, avoid eating too much fat foods, oil foods. Yes, remember, avoid visits to, uh, uh, sorry, make visits to hospitals. That's regular. It can help to know the blood pressure or any infection in the blood. Then uh, doing regular physical exercise is also very important and still eating a balanced diet. So these things can help you uh, to keep uh, care, okay, of this circulatory uh, system. And then, so with this, we need to check uh, which are actually the common diseases which can easily affect. Because if you don't take care, Yes, of these organs of blood circulation, you can be easily, uh, let's say, you can easily be exposed to a number of diseases. So I want to check which diseases can affect uh, the blood system. It yeah, can affect the heart, can affect blood vessels. Yes, so it's very important that we get aware such that we can maintain hygiene of the circulatory system. Uh, so moving on, you see, Yes, so we can check diseases of the circulatory system. This is very important. Talk of these organs like uh, the heart, the blood vessels, and blood. Yes, these organs can majorly be affected by a number of diseases. So it's, let us check on them. Uh, looking at this, uh, majorly there is high blood pressure. Yes, this is very common. You can find that it can easily, yes, uh, affect blood. Uh, there is also a stroke, okay? This is also common disease that can affect the system of blood circulation. And then this is also what we call this heart attack. This can also affect, majorly this affects the heart. Uh, heart being one of the organs of this circulatory system. Then uh, we also have another one which is called simply a deep vein thrombosis or, or DVT. You can ask you DVT in full, simply deep vein thrombosis. So we are going to look at this. Uh, and then uh, next also we have the atherosclerosis. It can also affect uh, the circulatory system. So uh, the number of diseases which shall look, go on looking at, talk of uh, HIV AIDS, uh, anemia, malaria, yes, hemophilia, talk of many of them. So we are going to move down and check one on one. This will be very easy and uh, keep us actually uh, remembering, okay? A uh, number of them. Yes, so uh, remember, this is very important. We say that uh, if we don't take care, yes, of, of these organs, of let's say the heart, the blood vessels, and blood, we find that we can be easily, yes, uh, exposed to a number of diseases. So what you have to do, we have to take care. So don't take care, that's why you go on getting uh, affected. So uh, looking at the table, it's going to give us actually a clear view to see uh, the disease, yes, and the symptoms. Then we have to see how should we prevent, or, let, or let's say which are the control measures. So you can check on the table here. And this table shows here, we shall look at the disease as we said, and then signs and symptoms. 
Then you have to look at the count and the prevention. Okay? So, yes, so we talked of high blood pressure. Simply, this is uh, referred to hypertension. Uh, and it's a condition whereby, yes, yes, blood circulates quickly at high pressure. Yes, through the narrow arteries. You find that this blood will move at a high pressure. Okay? And the arteries, you find majorly they are narrow. So you find that uh, there's blood, blood will move at a very high pressure. Uh, uh, this, is, uh, this can be actually uh, discovered or looked at by the signs and symptoms. So somebody having high blood pressure, what would be the signs and symptoms? As we say that uh, specifically you find that uh, if not treated, uh, this can lead to heart attack or stroke. Okay? And then you'll find that this person has headache. That is persistent, more to which, which does not stop. And then there is nausea of feeling like vomiting. So nausea simply means feeling like vomiting. So uh, this condition, you find that if someone has high blood pressure, more normally you find that it's uh, having nausea, okay, of feeling like vomiting most of the time. Uh, then there is blood vision, okay? The sight reduces, cannot see properly. So high blood pressure affects sight where you're not able to see properly. Then uh, there's also nose bleeding can happen in case somebody has high blood pressure. And then lastly, you can talk of uh, dizziness, of feeling unsteady. So you find like somebody is dizzy, okay, feeling like sleepy most of the time. Yeah, so and this, uh, this or looking at all these, okay, these can be a signs and symptoms of high blood pressure. So in case somebody shows these kind of signs, what should we do, okay? Uh, what are the control and prevention measures? Majorly avoid uh, salty foods. Somebody with high blood pressure is not advised to eat food with too much salt. So you need to eat food with controlled salt, okay? Then uh, avoid alcohol and smoking cigarettes. Yes, so smoking uh, and taking alcohol can majorly cause, lead to high blood pressure. So you need to avoid them. And then exercise regularly. So somebody having high blood pressure, is, you are advised to have okay, some uh, body exercise to make your body actually healthy. And then uh, lastly, yes, go for, take medication, okay? Yes, or majorly visit the doctor, will give you advice or medication or treatment. Um, then uh, look, next can be the heart attack. This majorly affects the heart, as we said. So uh, when the heart, this is when the heart can't get oxygen. So in this condition, you find that uh, uh, the flow of oxygen uh, reaching the blood parts, you find that uh, majorly uh, comes blocked. You find that cannot reach to different body organs. So supply of oxygen to different body organs becomes limited. So you find the heart can't pump blood to different parts. So it's majorly called heart attack. And uh, this is quite dangerous. So that's why we need to keep our body healthy. Uh, so what are the signs of heart attack? Majorly there is a pain in the chest, okay? Yeah, somebody can find a sudden pain in the chest. Then there is sweating, somebody can sweat so much. Uh, it can also cause heartburn, feeling some kind of burning, or burning sensation within the, the chest. Then there is extreme body weakness. You find it very weak, okay? That you can't do anything. Still, there's shortness of breath. Okay, you lose breath. You find you can't breathe properly. Then there's coughing or sneezing or weaving. Okay, coughing most of the time. So uh, this is a number of signs and symptoms that they can show heart attack. So what do we need to do in this case? Okay, take the patient to the hospital within one two hours of attack. Majorly, you don't need to take long because heart attack is very, very uh, dangerous. So majorly, uh, if you get less happen of this kind of signs, so you have too much pain in the, in the chest, there's sweating, there's heartburn, body weakness, shortness of breath, or oh, one has lost breath, the best advice is to take the patient to the hospital is for medical help. Uh, still, we can uh, move on checking on other conditions, like uh, stroke. A major stroke occurs when blood supply to the brain is interrupted or reduced. So uh, yes, so this majorly, uh, if you look at the signs, 
uh, for stroke. Uh, it is weakness, okay? Uh, yes, on numbers of one side of the body. Uh, you find that immediately, immediately this, this will get very weak. The body becomes very weak. Um, and then just maybe, maybe one side of the body, one part, can be maybe the side of the head, but you find it very weak, okay? Then there's low, loss of vision or low vision. Somebody can't see, okay? We lose vision, we will not see properly. Then there's loss of speech. One can't speak, can't talk, okay? And there's sudden or severe headache. And lastly, loss of balance. You find you can't move, okay? Somebody can end up actually collapsing. So a uh, stroke is very dangerous. Majorly what I have to do with this, uh, if it happens, uh, seek for medical help immediately or quickly. So you have to rush the patient, the hospital, uh, so that you can save the patient's health or life. Uh, what then uh, we can move on, that will be our next point, uh, which is uh, majorly the arth uh, atherosclerosis. This is the condition whereby the arteries get blocked, okay? Yeah, through the formation of a clot. You find that uh, uh, in uh, atherosclerosis, uh, you find that uh, majorly there is a kind of clot that happens within the arteries, okay? Yes, so this can easily bring to stroke and bring a heart attack. You find that uh, blood can't actually move normally, okay? So uh, block, blocked arteries, there are signs, heart attack, yeah, stroke. Uh, there is pain in the arteries and the chest in general. Okay, so in case this happens, uh, also still uh, you have to rush the patient to the hospital. Uh, that's one of, of actually the easiest uh, help you can give. Yes, and then uh, there is exercising regularly. In case somebody always gets these signs, you need to exercise regularly. Uh, then uh, you should also avoid, okay, uh, actives like smoking, okay. Uh, it is very important because uh, it will keep your body healthy. Then uh, lastly, that we can check on could be uh, the deep vein thrombosis. This is uh, simply abbreviated as DVT. It can ask you, write DVT in full. This is simply deep vein thrombosis. So looking at this, uh, we have the, have, we have the signs and symptoms, which will be. Uh, swelling of the affected area, okay? Uh, majorly, you can find that like, a, to the, let's say to, to the leg, this happens, you can find a part of the leg, okay, majorly lower leg, you find, okay, okay, even the upper, but majorly the leg, you find that there's, uh, you find that there's pain. So it happens, majorly part of the leg is very common. You find that uh, the part which is affected of the vein, you find that it will, will swell, okay? And it is painful, yes. If it's the arm, so there's raining of the arm, so it can happen in the arms or legs, maybe the limbs. So there's a uh, tenderness of a particular part. The part, this part swells, okay? Yes, so uh, when you look at uh, the control, okay, uh, simply, yes, uh, it's operation to remove the clot, okay? Uh, this is done majorly, uh, let's say, by the talk of, let's say, the, the doctors of some of uh, uh, experienced, we can talk of massaging, can help you, okay? And then uh, avoid risk factors such as smoking and stress. Yeah, this also, because smoking, uh, stress, uh, smoking kills, okay, imagine the body cells. So you find that uh, will easily lead to a deep vein thrombosis and then uh, exercise regularly. So these signs and uh, looking at the signs and symptoms, it's very easy to get a way of prevention because I talk of swelling, talk of pain in the chest, okay? Yes, those are some of the signs. So looking at that, yes, keep your body healthy by exercising regularly, avoid smoking, it's very important, okay? Uh, this will help you. Uh, in case it's persistent, then uh, rush the patient to the hospital uh, for medication. Uh, so uh, those are some of uh, the diseases that can affect this circulatory uh, system. But we have to look at others which are uh, uh, can also give us a, an overview, okay? Like uh, malaria, it's also a very common disease, okay, of the circulatory system. Uh, majorly, uh, this, if you check, this affects the red blood cells. And remember, we learned about mal malaria. Uh, this is uh, simply, okay, uh, spread 
uh, if you talk about uh, the, the female anosmosis mosquitoes, they spread malaria. So they can ask you, which vector spread, uh, spread malaria? It's just simply the infected female anopheles mosquitoes. And uh, immediately they will carry germs or parasites that, that are called plasmodium or plasmodia. Yes, so then we need to, we need to check on uh, uh, more, get time and look at how ways of uh, preventing malaria. Okay, it's very important because sign of malaria, of course, you can be asked in exams. And then uh, next disease, look at uh, leukemia. Uh, leukemia simply uh, is also referred to, let's say, uh, blood cancer, okay? Uh, this is also uh, common, okay? Yes, so majorly uh, we need to uh, keep our body healthy because in this one, there's uh, formation of abnormal cells, okay? W within the body, uh, yeah. So these ones, you find that uh, uh, the body is not able to perform, to function. The blood can't function well. So then uh, we also have anemia. Uh, anemia, majorly this is caused by a uh, lack of iron in the body. So uh, somebody of anemia, we find uh, signs like dizziness, uh, lack of breath or shortage of breath. So a number of them. So you need to uh, majorly uh, to feed on foods containing, uh, let's say, iron to, to maintain to maintain uh, uh, your body health or avoiding anemia. Then next you have uh, hemophilia. Uh, hemophilia, this is a con simpler condition. Uh, when you find that uh, uh, blood cannot easily clot. In the case when there is, uh, when there is uh, uh, blood flow. So in hemophilia, you find that uh, the blood platelets are affected. They are not able uh, say, to clot in case of bleeding. So. In this condition, somebody can easily have severe bleeding. So hemophilia, majorly, as we're saying, that uh, it's a condition where in somebody ca can is blood can easily flow or one can easily bleed without uh, blood clotting. So blood takes long to clot in the case of bleeding or blood flow. So you find that, uh, as we say, that uh, it is majorly it majorly happens uh, when the platelets blood platelets are weak and, and are not functional. Yes. So you have to uh, make sure that you keep your body healthy to maintain uh, the hygiene or health of blood, clot, of blood platelets. Then uh, next will be uh, AIDS or HIV. So uh, majorly this, you know, this uh, is also a blood disease. Uh, yes, it's, AIDS is caused by a virus called HIV. And remember, this has no cure, okay? But majorly you can be given uh, uh, drugs, okay, the RVs, and to, and to provide drugs, yes, so they can help you to keep, to boost the immune system. So majorly, you can be asked to write these terms in full. Yes, look at this, the major in P5, remember, AIDS in full. So check, uh, you can write aside, what, what does it, uh, this mean, AIDS in full and HIV in full, okay? Remember, we talked of this, this can be uh, acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Uh, okay, and for HIV, human immunodeficiency virus. So this is very important to check on these. Abbreviations are very common. So we need to, need to check on uh, what causes AIDS, okay, as well it is caused by a virus called HIV, and then prevention of HIV AIDS, talk of spread of HIV AIDS, okay? They can ask you, how best can a pupil in primary six or teenagers avoid contracting HIV AIDS? So check on those, please, because we have looked at that in primary five. Uh, and then uh, next, uh, but not least, will be uh, diabetes. Diabetes is simply a cause uh, uh, when uh, it all led to the condition where that uh, majorly you find that uh, in this condition, some it is caused majorly by too much, let's say, too much sugars in the body. So people who eat, let's say, feed on food with too much sugars can majorly have uh, diabetes. So to avoid this, avoid eating sugary foods or eat less of sugars or glucose to avoid diabetes. And then the core cells anemia, okay? Uh, this majorly affects uh, the red blood cells. You find that uh, they become unhealthy and they can't transport or carry oxygen. So uh, majorly it's, as we said, it can be, uh, it is a condition, yes, where, where, where yes, which affects the red blood cells. So you find that the cells will be unhealthy and they can't carry oxygen. 
Yes, so uh, majorly you need to do, make sure that you maintain uh, uh, your body healthy by doing physical exercises, uh, eating a balanced diet. This will help you to avoid all these diseases. So this is a number of diseases that can affect uh, the system of blood circulation. So it's very important to check on that. And then still, as we move on, yes, you can be asked, uh, which of yes, the above diseases can affect, let's say, the heart? So we looked at uh, diseases of the circulatory system in general. But we want to see which of them can affect the heart specifically. OK? So some of them are talk of the uh, coronary thrombosis. OK? Uh, this one, as we go on, you'll find that uh, for this affects majorly uh, the coronary arteries. Coronary arteries, the arteries that supply the heart with the blood. OK? Yes, they can ask you what name is given to blood vessels that supply the heart with blood. They're majorly called the coronary arteries. So these ones can be affected by this called coronary thrombosis. Then there's a hypertension. Uh, this is also the same as uh, high blood pressure. And then lastly, we shall have a heart attack. So these three, majorly, they are, uh, can simply refer to heart disease. These that are majorly, that majorly affect the normal function of the heart. Yes, so looking in details, as we said, that uh, for coronary thrombosis, majorly we said, the disease that affects the heart, okay, and is caused by blockage of the coronary arteries. They supply uh, blood to the blood and food, okay, to the heart. So, uh, yes, once they're affected, you find all their blocked these arteries, you find that you can easily uh, have such a condition. So, in this case, we're saying that uh, it makes the cardiac muscles weak and may not work, may, may stop working due to limited oxygen, okay, and they just the food supply. Yes, so remember we say that uh, coronary thrombosis is majorly caused uh, by blockage of the, uh, of, of the arteries, which may be due, is caused due to uh, too much fats in the body. Yes. So you know, av avoiding to avoid eating fat foods, uh, have regular physical exercises, can help to avoid a disease uh, which is known as uh, coronary thrombosis. Then uh, uh, the next, they have one of the heart diseases, say so that it is hypertension or high blood pressure. So this, this is a disease, okay, of the walls of the arteries making or reducing the, the, the lumen. You find the lumen of the artery will be reduced, okay? It because, and this one will lead to, what, to blood flowing, okay, at a high pressure. We find that uh, it cannot easily move through the arteries. They are narrowed. The lumen is narrow. So we are saying this can be caused by smoking, Okay, of poisonous drugs contained in the tobacco. Remember, we're not about uh, the poisonous uh, chemicals or drugs that are found in tobacco. That's majorly tar and nicotine. Okay, they can ask you which are the poisonous chemicals, okay, or substances found in in tobacco. That's simply tar and nicotine. So the moment you take in or you smoke tobacco, you'll be taking the poisonous drugs, which are simply uh, nicotine and tar. They are harmful. They affect the lungs. Okay, and then uh, the heart leading to hypertension. Then uh, also eating too much fat or fatty foods and sugary foods can also lead to hypertension because simply will block the arteries, okay, Redu making them narrow so blood can't flow properly. Yes, so uh, we need to, to observe this, to avoid this, simply observe hygiene of the circulatory system. Uh, so I've talked of this. Uh, so maybe this need to move out quickly to check on uh, uh, blood pressure me measurement. Yes, so what is very, uh, blood pressure, you find that uh, we need to check on, uh, it's very important to note on this, because when there's high blood pressure, uh, you find it's, uh, uh, it majorly affects the body, so you find, uh, find that it's, you can't do anything, the body becomes weak, okay, and unable to function. So you find that uh, to avoid this, it's very important. That's why you need to check on blood pressure. See, which is normal blood pressure, which is the abnormal blood pressure. You need to know this. And uh, also, we shall look at uh, how do we check on this. So, finding out the normal blood pressure or measurement of blood pressure, let us observe this, this uh, picture here. So, you can check here, doctor uh, is taking blood pressure of, a, of, a patient, of a somebody, of a person, uh, using an instrument. Okay? So, you can be asked, which instrument do we use? to measure blood pressure, and then which unit. 
Yes, uh, so majorly, when measuring body pressure, we can use an instrument called a, a sphygmomanometer. A yes, sphygmomanometer majorly can also be called a blood pressure meter. So you can ask you which instrument we use to measure blood pressure. Okay? Simply we call it a blood pressure meter or sphygmomanometer. So remember, okay, blood pressure is the amount of force, okay? Okay, yes, that is exactly all pressed on the walls of the arteries. So the amount of force or the force at which blood flows, that we simply refer to blood pressure. So remember, you can simply use a blood, pr blood pressure meter or an instrument still called sphygmomanometer. Sphygmomanometer simply you is used to measure blood pressure. You can simply see it here. This is uh, the instrument, okay? Uh, and then uh, we look at a uh, measurement of blood pressure, see, which is the normal blood pressure, okay? Uh, the normal blood pressure majorly, uh, it is always, let us say, uh, below, okay? Below, majorly below 120 uh, over 80, okay? This is majorly, the normal blood pressure will be below this. Above this, okay, it will be, uh, okay, uh, will, be ab will be abnormal, okay? Uh, okay, so that's why we are saying uh, any blood pressure that is, that any, uh, any value lower than 120 or 80, okay, uh, this is the unit for blood pressure, uh, can be simply a, a millimeter high, this is a unit, M MHG, so one can simply say millimeter high. Uh, this is, uh, these are the units for uh, blood pressure. Because the blood pressure unit. So, majorly, uh, any value lower, let's say, or below 120 over 80, okay, millimeter high, is simply considered as low blood pressure, okay? Then, if it is higher than that, it will be high blood pressure. So, if you go to the doctor and then you measure, let's say, 120 over 80, above millimeter high, this will be high blood pressure. Yes, so uh, take note of this. They can ask you, uh, they will give be different numbers, which of the following is uh, correct blood pressure, uh, okay, low blood pressure or high blood pressure. We simply say that uh, N value, which is uh, above 120 over 80 millimeter high is simply uh, high blood pressure, but if it's lower than that, it will be low blood pressure. So we need to check, remember, how do we maintain a low blood pressure? Okay, or avoiding high blood pressure or hypertension. Well, yes, we talked of uh, uh, majorly having a uh, uh, daily body exercise. It's very important, okay? And then uh, visiting the doctor for uh, blood pressure checkup. This is very important. So this will help us, yes, uh, to avoid or to control uh, blood pressure. Yeah, so yeah, having looked at uh, uh, different parts, okay? In, in our talk today, it's better we have an activity here. So uh, in this activity here, uh, you're supposed to look at this work. So that's why it's a learner's activity. Yes, we need to go through uh, looking at the discussion we've had, the work we've gone through. You can do this. So uh, what we can, for number one, we are asked, let's say, list down any six common diseases of the circulatory system. Yes, so uh, we have looked at a number of them. If they ask you eight or 10, we've given many of them. So for this, uh, let us check, let us do a few of them together, and then uh, you'll be left to continue the activity. So yes, so uh, looking at this, we talked about many of them. So remember, we said, uh, talk of anemia, okay? Uh, anemia, we said this one majorly, you find that uh, it affects uh, blood. Okay, uh, and uh, we talk of, or if we talk of anemia, remember it's caused, simply caused by lack of iron, enough iron in the body. And then uh, still, uh, there are many, yes, talk of HIV AIDS, okay? Talk of HIV AIDS. This also affects, yes, the system of blood circulation. Uh, uh, we talk of uh, very many, talk of diabetes. Uh, what when we get to, uh, hypertension, heart attack, Okay, okay, let us add, let me add the third one. Heart attack. We can go together. Okay, yes. So we are asked to name six. Okay, and we have looked at anemia, uh, HIV, AIDS, talk of heart attack. 
Then uh, we can still have more, okay? We add to make six. So please, uh, from here, you can easily complete which are the others that can affect uh, the system of blood circulation. Majorly, you can add here and have a number of them. So when you ask in time to mention disease of this circulatory system, simply talk of uh, anemia, talk of HIV AIDS, heart attack, and the name of, number of them that we have discussed. So yes, since it's learner's activity, this is your activity, but uh, yes, we go together as discussion, we go together, so please, Try, get more from our discussion we had. And then uh, going to number two, you asked, uh, the three common diseases of the heart include, okay, dash, dash. Yes, uh, so you can add this. Okay, let us maybe have this and uh, coronary uh, thrombosis. Okay. Yeah, so you asked, the three common diseases of the heart include, Dash, dash, and the coronary thrombosis. So which are the two? Okay, majorly because we discussed about three heart diseases which majorly affect the heart. Remember we talked of last time we said that there are majorly three organs, three major organs of the circulatory system. We talked of the heart, uh, the blood vessels, and blood. So for this case, you asked which are the common heart diseases. So you're given one, which is coronary, uh, coronary thrombosis, but you can now add it to which are remaining. Uh, coming this way to the activity, yes, we are given that uh, uh, Kagabo went to the doctor for blood pressure checkup. Uh, it was noted that uh, his blood pressure was above 120 over 80 millimeters high. Now we are asked, yes, in this condition, because we discussed which is uh, low blood pressure and then high blood pressure. So we are asked, state whether uh, his blood pressure was low or high from, yes. So from our discussion, you can easily answer this. And then uh, going to part B. Yeah, so uh, moving to part B of number three. Majorly, yes, we asked, what advice uh, would you give him to maintain low blood pressure? Yes, uh, so uh, we looked at this majorly, looking at uh, this, okay, which affect the less uh, blood doctor of majorly it is and we said yes we so many ways uh, of of maintaining blood pressure so we asked what advice would you give kagabo to maintain low blood pressure yes we discussed which is low blood pressure which is high blood pressure uh, and then we looked at the disease and all oh, the prevention of high blood pressure so maintaining low blood pressure is very important so what would you advise kagabo to do okay to keep his blood pressure low so please check on this Looking at all these numbers we have left with you, okay, Num remember number one, there are there's three we need, to, uh, we need to complete, you have to complete, number two, okay, coming back here, yes, so use your time and look at these questions, answer what we didn't complete, course left for you, uh, to use your time and then, you, yes, for any problem, you can uh, check on us and we hope you, so uh, this brings us to the end of our lesson. Uh, so, yeah, specifically, uh, today we have majorly looked at uh, hygiene or, keep, or taking care uh, of uh, the circulatory system and then this is which can affect the blood, the blood system, yes, which can affect their heart, the blood vessels, this is very important. So we've checked a number of them. So uh, what you have to do is go through your work, revise your work, it will help you to make yourself updated and in the case we come back to school, you'll be free, you'll be able to answer all these uh, so uh, this, as we said, yes, it's going to be good to keep you ready with everything to answer. So this brings us to the end of our lesson today. And uh, for you uh, to get more activities, to keep only keep watching BTN TV, uh, follow on YouTube, you'll be getting them. Check on Wisdom Center website, you'll be getting a number of questions for your activities. Uh, we thank you uh, for your time and watching BTN TV.